No, probably not worth grabbing. Three and a half. And it's definitely above my pay grade. Um, these are tempting. But I take so much damage from bases. So much damage. Seven salvage door. Let's take this. Four salvage. Oh, it's so little salvage, but it's how you get the good stuff. It's how you get the good stuff. We've got to do it. We've got to start pushing for them. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think, actually. On a large X-Pulse, it's 40 heat, I think I recall. That's actually less heat. Oh, no, no, man. I was going to say that's less heat than an ERPPC. But the ERPBC has like twice the range, so it's not even like comparable in that regard. There's a lot more damage though. Maybe I could swap the normal PPC for the X-Pulse on the Usil. That would be interesting. Okay, so it wants me to basically spawn next to the enemies, is what I'm seeing. Uh, that is two lances. I say over here should be safe. They should be on the here and over here. Not guaranteed, but it's quite likely. Oh, well, it wants me all the way down at the bottom. Um. Uh. Yeah, that'll have to do. Yeah, PPCs are graveyard, but have elevation and spire. <sighs> yes, the range is still important, but for the most part, yes. The way I've got mine set up, though, not well. So I try to think in comparison to the larger X pulse. Also, hey, Toasty Gower, how are you doing? Um. Thank you. Yeah, just like having that much pinpoint at such a long range is really noticeable. Like, I, I can't see myself getting rid of that usual apart from for, for another sniper mech for a long time. Like, I, I would literally have to replace... I would have to build a new sniper mech to maybe replace that. Oh, so it's just one lance. Oh, there's got to be something over here. Well, let me see it. There is a second lance. Uh, Cyclone with... No arms? Do Cyclones normally look like that? Um, a Wasp Lamb. Firestar, pretty standard. Sniper Artillery, oh great, lovely. Fucking Van Dabby Dozzy. Why is it always Artillery? Why is it always Artillery? And why is it always like somewhere that I don't have line of sight no matter how hard I try. Okay, the lamb's going to have to go after him. Everyone else is going to have to split up and just hope for the best. 
fast tank with a 100 meter range finder that fire starter sldf griff for their purpose with four lrms and an er large laser i so i really don't use snipers a lot on this um i'm definitely more of like an all-in brawly type of person on this um I'm starting to lean more towards sniping now, just as a change of play style more than anything else. Oh right, it's a free turn. Oh, I should have moved him up then. Shit, I forgot it was a free turn. I was actually going to try and shoot with him. That's why I did that. Um, but I love using like heavy melee weapons, mass superchargers, like just, you know, people just sprinting everywhere did you oh you actually moved oh when did you do that fair enough i don't you can't do that with snipers it's just you know it's the oomph of a melee attack is so satisfying okay please one shot him not a one shot, but <sighs> really? Oh, I hit the arm like more than anything else. Okay. Uh, I can shoot the back of the fire star. That works. Eighty-five percent. And bam! I looks like I hit an arm and a leg. Oh no, I hit side horse one a leg. I mean, I'll take it. Hammer wrist, that's stealth armor hammer. That's going to be the heavy MRMs then. Ooh, they're actually quite nasty. Um, do I want to do that? That hammer's going to be very close to me. But it would kill the fire starter. Do it. Yeah, that hammer is very close. I'm a little bit worried about that, but it should be fine. Shoot a rocket, make sure it dies. I don't think that AMS is going to save you. Oh, maybe it did. A crawl max for later. Never let him cram until I ditch the AC-20s. Nah, I like, I like themes. Yeah, I, li I, I like themes and specialization. That's, that's what I find fun. Like that, that's like my type of, because that's the cool thing about Rotec. You play it however you want. There's a certain point where the game will stop you. But that's also like a challenge to yourself is make it as far as you can with your playstyle. Like you can finesse your playstyle to basically do almost the whole game. The moment you reach Red Skulls, that's where I was going to say try, uh, I want to say try harding. You need to really hone your craft. And maybe accept some things don't work. Is when you reach Red Skull. Um, please don't be seen by anyone else. Okay, good. But until then, I reckon you can kind of make it through the rest of the game with just experience alone. And a half-decent understanding of the game. Ooh, I was actually very well clustered, all things considered. Light PPC and the Chameleon. Why does that cyclone look weird? It looks like its arms already been blown off. That's gotta be a bug. Ooh, they're next to each other. Hold on, this is perfect. Um, yeah. That's calm. Uh, uh, uh. Really? 
That is the worst way that could have went. Okay, so I've avoided the artillery. That is literally the worst way that could have went. I, I must have rolled like a 1% for that to happen. Like, that is like the only way that happens if I rolled like a 1% roll. Um, that really sucks. That's actually really, really bad for me now. Um, I know I should have just went for a standard shot. Um, you okay? Actually, I can I can make this work. I can make this work because I can't get a direct shot. What I'll do is use my PPCs to free Willy. Thank you. Um, you're going to reserve. Just in case they decide to push up for some god knows reason. You can go up here, no problems. You can actually get over there with... Pretty decent ease. Okay, let's go with station first, just in case. What's your evasion? Only three. You... Wait. Stealth plus two, but I smashed your roll. That's what happened. Okay. Ooh, that laser aim message did a lot of work. My AC-20 did a very poor job there. Uh, you probably aren't going to... Oh, you did as well. You rolled an 8 as well. Wow. Holy shit, these guys have just nailed it. Go for acid. Try to do as much armor damage as I can. But my hair is going everywhere. You're going to go for this guy. You're a nice little kick in the back. 69%, nice. Um, it's probably not worth doing. I don't have Juggernaut. Um, can I get... No, I can't get five. Okay, I'll have to do. And blast them. Very good hits. Okay, that's going to help out a lot. Really, I mostly hit that side. Oh, God. Oh, no, I hit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you went over a lot of the mines there. Ow. Okay. Expulses and heavy MRMs. Went out to play. You went over actually quite a few mines to do that. How much are we talking? Yeah, decent amount. Wow, my entire lance is just ignoring his stealth armor. It's not even like his center locks or anything. We're just rolling that high. That, um... That emphasis on tactics and sensors is actually really coming through for me. Oh, it's because of the C3 unit. I think. I think as long as one of them kind of has sensors on him... Because of the C3 unit, it's really having a knock-on effect. Um, hey, well, just go for artillery. Go for it. Cyclone. Off the top. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. That was a good shot. Fourteen percent? Absolutely nailed it. Um Oh hell yeah. Let's push you forward then. Uh 
Let's see if you can do the rest. I thought missiles did a lot more stability than that. Are you going for the Yen Lord? That's the Cyclone, Ace Pilot. Oh, wait, the arms are fixed. There we go. They finally fixed themselves. What a weird, I've never seen that happen before. That's actually quite funny. Um, I need you to actually pull back. Wait. What's causing the aim? Is it coming too close? No. I guess it's a stealth armor. Maybe. Back to it. Knock off. Knock an arm off. Well, I didn't knock it off. I think it's because he tried firing. I think it's when he fired his weapons they came back. Because I think the weapons are in the arms, actually. So I kind of realized, oh shit, it needs these. I cleared the mines, but that's fine. I see cleared all the mines. That was a headshot? I'm not surprised you're inspired. That was a cracking shot. All oh, right, min range. Um, that's my bad. Uh, because they were toggled off, it wasn't showing me the range, so I completely forgot about that. Uh, just fire it anyway, that's fine. That's my bad though. I should have double checked that. But the chameleon. Um, What would a kick be like? 81%, that's actually really, really good. No point going for a back attack, really. I mean, I guess the chance to hit is a bit higher. 81%. You do have... Juggernaut. Missed the kick. Of course, 80% uh, 80 is not good enough to kick someone with. The lasers, though, are more than enough. Centurion with the arrow. Cyclone. That arrow is is so goddamn good. Oh yeah, he's gone. So wait, are you in a lance by yourself? Are you just a, like a lance on your own? I'm really confused what's happened here. Seems to be the case. Yep, it was just a lance on its own. I mean, it's a damn good uh, vehicle to be fair. Let's see what we can do. Well, let's see what we can salvage. Not, not, not necessarily do. Um. Ooh, okay, let's stay. Three parts. It's, it was an assault. That's why it was a lance by itself. Um. Huh. I don't think as an 80 tonner that's pretty that's pretty poor as an 80 tonner I gotta say grab that grab that arrow defense Ooh, oh yeah the hammer right the hammer has goodies in it I need to get myself oh geez um that's not a good one 
kind of need those. I really want those. I need to get myself lamp hard points. What's better, Inferno or Shape Charge? I think Inferno's better, technically. I got one. I got one under that already. So let's go the Inferno. Damn, I really need those lamb hard points. I need to stop coring lambs. Remind me not to core lambs. Because the hard points count as CT. I've got a sniper variety. That's cool. Didn't get any of the ammo. That's a little bit of a shame. Got got nice. Got got that. Okay. When opportunity comes knocking, don't complain about the noise. That's true. That is definitely true. Eleven and a half K. Let's see. Uh two days. So it's like a three day repair. Yeah, it's three days. And that wolfman is never gonna get done. Although I did say I was gonna do this last time and I didn't. 1.5 mil. It would set me back a bit. But in terms of building stuff, it's worth it. Um, I could definitely make that money back, no problem. And I can sell stuff if need be. Let's see. I kind of want to do this. I think I will do that. Take the three days. That Wolfman's what, two LBX 10s? Like, that's going to hit so hard. Gonna be insane. I know it's two skull, but it's seven salvage and it's turrets, so the chance of like ghost rifles and stuff is pretty high. Well, higher than normal anyway. Which I am excited for. That's it boiling right now for me. Holy shit. That's probably not been helping. Let me... I should have had my stream open in the background. I was wondering why my internet was being a little bit weird. I had my own stream open. Right. So here's the base, which means there's probably defenses around it. I wonder how many are going to be turrets. Okay, now we're going to go here. I'm hoping that's enough of a ditch to save me from spawn. Well, to give me spawn protection. Sorry. To save me from their spawn protection. Okay, good. Oh, it looks quite foggy. Dense fog, okay. Uh, we should be able to work around that because it is bright. So that's kind of counteracting dense fog a bit. Oh, I know this, this map, okay. This map's always a weird one. 
Uh, what, what are we dealing with here? That looks like either... I think that's a point defense. That's AMS. Which kind of sucks. Move everyone forward. And let's hope they don't have artillery. Station off the bat. I tell you what, if I can take care of that point defense, I'm in a very good spot. What do we have? Light standard turret. Infantry special. Oh, it's not actually a point defense. Standard shredder. I'm a bit worried that's going to be an AC-20. Ultra AC-10. Pirate Ultra AC-10 Hetzer. And double snipes. That's double AC-5. Actually, kind of weak turrets, all things considered. Um, go for it. Totally overkill, but you can never make too... Never make too sure. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's how you say that, but... Really, LRM Cicada. That is an AC-20 turret. Ooh, actually decent um, indirect shots. Um, let's see the arrow in that case. You could go for the cicada. I kind of want to go for this Hetzu though. I want to try and fast cam you. Please land on this side. Okay. I can only blame myself for that. I should attack ground. I should have attacked ground here. But I was kind of relying on the 35% a little bit. Um, do I try and get that turret? Between this guy and the Ajax, I think I can probably do it. Pretty close, okay. You're not going to make it, but... You can hit the sniper turret. Are you out of line of sight? Oh no, you can see it. Double AC5, so I was correct on the turret. Only one hit. Oh, that's kind of bad. Where's the Ajax? Um, Yenlaw. Oh, the Yenlaw can make it as well. That's fine, okay. I can save the Ajax for something else that would be better. Oh yeah, that's it. That's done. Took it off acid, so it did more structure damage. Definitely did help. I think I would have killed it even with the acid, but still, might as well use the correct weapon. Fifteen. Is that you by any chance? And I calculate something. Yeah, so it is the harasser. Oh, it looks like Hydra to me. Yeah, that looks like Hydra ammo to me. Okay, you're going to come over here and deal with the light standard. Yeah, I don't think I can deal with you in one turn, so I've got to just tank one turret, which is actually better than I was expecting. Ultra AC-10 still is on the field, though. Pirate Ultra AC-10 at that. That's basically an Ultra LBX-10, more accurately. Um, okay. 
Okay, go for that. Any lucky crit? Doesn't look like it. Well, we've got, we've got a few engine crits, double heat sinks, three double heat sinks, wow. Ooh, okay, maybe that doesn't work like I thought it did. That didn't seem like LBX shots. I thought the pirate turned it into an LBX. That did not seem to be the case. Um, okay, you're gonna punish the cicada, I think. Well, flank would be best. I don't think that's a good idea. Seems kind of wasteful to do that. Can I hit that turret? I can. Yeah, you're too much firepower to pass up. Especially with a rocket as well. There we go. Get rid of those two AC5s. Buzz it, please. There we go. Well, that was close. Almost accidentally moved. Uh, Fuzzy can deal with... AC-10. Battle boss is a lot of MG. That's a lot of MGs. Okay. We're going to go for the scatter. Artemis rapid fire? Yeah, go for it. Great PPC shots. Ah, well, they kind of fell off towards the end. Wow, you... You crit, you crit yourself once. Why are you so unsteady? Oh, you went through rough terrain. I didn't even consider that. That was actually just... Pure luck. But I will take it. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to do this properly. And fast cam next to you. There we go. Much better. I do need to make sure you die. My tank can probably finish that off. So you go and deal with the cicada. Now you're falling over. And Usual's gonna take care of this rest of this turret. Maybe should have done that the other way around. Maybe the Usual has more firepower. I'm not sure. You also get hit by acid. I forgot about the acid buff. Um okay, Ajax, you're gonna have to come over here as well. Go for CT. I seen like pretty poor lasers, but it didn't really change much. And law, you push up. Uh, acid will do fine. Is it enough? Doesn't look like it. You're backing away. Oh, you actually went flying away. No way, I got all of it. Wow, 10 out of 10. What? That's only a bolt on. I'm surprised that actually worked. All of MGs. Wow, only two hits. That's a bit sad. Okay, I'm going to risk the striker because that AC-10 is still active, but there's a chance you could kill. Damn it. Well, that run wasn't enough. Okay, Pirate Ultra 10 missed. Have a look. Oh, you barely took any damage from those mines. Wait, the headset didn't take any damage at all from the mines. 
Oh no, ten. Okay, well you barely went through any of them. And I was kind of expecting more than that. That's a bit underwhelming. Um, you finish off your crit, so I'll keep you off. That'll help you cool down. That fell sensors. No, I mega succeeded. Light, uh, visuals. Hard to hit. Okay. It was only one touch away from death anyway, so it's fine. Uh, usual. Seventy-five percent. Okay, I'm probably gonna go for that. I'll probably use station to deal with the remaining vehicle on my left. Oh, actually, chameleon would also be pretty good at it. Although, not the best shots. 50%. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Where's station? There's station. Hopefully this will be enough, because that is actually a decent amount of armor. And tree line protection. Okay, never mind. We got good cluster in. And uh, yep. Damn it. I really want to get rid of this. Have a look. Well, I don't think anyone else can actually get close enough to really give it a good shot. Although that isn't too bad. Um There's overheat, but there's not actually any shutdown chance. So, I am going to push it. We got it. That was just the building's left. That was actually a pretty clean base destruction, all things considered. Um, you just move all forward, but you're not actually going to shoot anything. Purely because he's in the way. They want me to destroy these three specific buildings, it seems. Oh, I actually did a pretty good job of it. I guess it is a civilian. I guess these aren't military, these are civilian, which is definitely. Your 159. 220. Wow, okay, maybe the names don't actually mean shit. Um, yeah, you should be able to one-shot that. Unless you miss both X-Pulses. That's a bit unfortunate. Have a look. Okay, let's clean up these buildings. I guess I've got a lot of high alpha on these guys. A lot of high alpha. And who's last? Ajax? No, oh my. Nope, you're not firing. Oh, Usel. Right, of course. I'm not shooting my arrow at that. There's no point. No point taking the friendly fire. That would just be stupid. Well, it would be quite entertaining, but it would just be stupid. Right, so do we get anything special from this? There was nothing really in the turrets. Nothing really in the mechs either. I think it was just generic... Generic stuff. Uh, AirPods, AC20, MG Pluses... Heavy Ultra, 10 pack. So what do you do? Um, ah, so you can fire it in, uh, 
Oh, wow. Pretty much every auto cannon you can get. There's a clan UAC feeder, there's an LBX barrel, and there's a HVAC railing and stabilizers. Oh, top of all this fuckery. Wow. Uh, Munir auto cannon can fire any AC ammo and fires twice with ultra. You can just give it any ammo. That's weird. Uses any AC, UAC, LBX, and ammo. Wow. That's weird. Ooh, double heat sinks. Um, might take those. Ooh, okay. AC-10 incens. More LB-10 clusters. HVAC. Ooh, Hydra, Typhon. UAC-10. Acid half tons. Well, some good ammo types in this actually. AC 10 and flak is interesting. I could see myself potentially using that. Not, not particularly with that, but I can see myself using it. Oh, wait, that's a clan heavy machine gun. Wait, really? It's clan heavy machine gun? Man, that battle bus has like everything in it. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's grab it. Why not? Oh, but where's, the, where's the battle bus here? It's a bus with a lot of machine guns, even more spikes. Why are there so many spikes? It's a little shrine and it says more. Ride Eternal, Shiny and Chrome. Yeah, wow. MG heavy, 4 MG lights, 3 MGs, 1 MG... Yeah, so it's just like whatever machine gun they could find. Strapped onto a bus. That's, that's pretty funny. That's pretty cool. Uh, however, there, that will be where... I'm going to call this little evening adventure. I just wanted to get a little bit more because I only did a short one yesterday. I figured I'd do another short one just to catch up with my... Um, I'm going to say quarter, but it's not really quarter. Just so I feel happy that I've not not done, not done enough rock tech. Because rock tech is something I really want to progress with. And I really want to get to the later sections of the game. So thank you all for coming in. I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Which will be the next rock tech stream. So see you guys then. Thank you all for coming in.